Wireless slash unbounded slash unguided media. Wireless media are also one of the means of communication in which we transmit data and information from one place to another place wirelessly without any use of an electrical conductor as a medium. Microwave System Microwave is a line-of-sight wireless communication technology that uses high-frequency beams of radio waves to provide high-speed wireless connections that can send and receive voice, video, and data information. This may not be possible for very long-distance transmission. Moreover, signals become weaker after traveling a certain distance and require power amplification. Its range is 25 to 30 kilometers in between transmitting and receiving station. It can support 250,000 voice channels simultaneously. Its initial installation charge is high. Figure shows wireless transmission of data and instructions. Satellite a satellite or artificial satellite is an object intentionally placed into orbit in outer space. Except for passive satellites, most satellites have an electricity generation system for equipment on board, such as solar panels. Approximately 2,000 artificial satellites orbiting Earth relay analog and digital signals carrying voice, video, and data to and from one or many locations worldwide. Radio waves. Radio waves are a type of electromagnetic radiation best known for their use in communication technologies, such as television, mobile phones and radios. These devices receive radio waves and convert them to mechanical vibrations in the speaker to create sound waves. Lower frequencies than microwaves. Range from thousands of meters to 30 centimeters. They are used in standard broadcast radio and television, shortwave radio, navigation and air traffic control, cellular telephony, and even remote controlled toys. Infrared radiation Infrared signals can be used for short distance communication which cannot penetrate the wall. Its application includes wireless local area networks, links between notebook and desktop computer, cordless mobiles, fire sensors, wireless mouse, and keyboard. Network Architecture Network architecture refers to a network's structural and logical layout. It describes how the network devices are connected and the rules that govern data transfer between them. Types of Network Architecture Client-to-Server Network Architecture Peer-to-Peer -peer Network Architecture Client-to-Server Network Architecture Client-Server Architecture is a computing model in which the server hosts, delivers and manages most of the resources and services to be consumed by the client. This type of architecture has one or more client computers connected to a central server over a network or internet connection. The computer network which provides resources or services to other computers is called a server and computer which seek of access resources and services from the server are called client. Here we go. Us. Advantages of client-to-server network architecture High security A server can have a multiple client Centralized backup Better performance Very reliable Disadvantages of client-to-server network architecture Expensive comparing to peer-to-peer -peer network architecture if the server network fails, whole network goes down. Data traffic is high. Required professional administration. Peer-to-peer -peer network architecture. It is a group of computers, which function both as servers and clients. In peer-to-peer -peer network, there is no separate division as clients and servers. 
Every computer is treated equally and can send as well as receive the message directly. Advantages of peer-to-peer -peer network architecture Easy setup and NAS is not required Less expensive No network administrator needed Disadvantages of peer-to-peer -peer network architecture Less secure Used only for small organization Difficult to remember all the user's name and password. Decentralized. Network topology. Network topology is the arrangement of the elements of a communication network. Network topology can be used to define or describe the arrangement of various types of telecommunication networks, including command and control radio networks, industrial field buses and computer networks. Types of network topology Bus topology A bus network is a network topology in which nodes are directly connected to a common half-duplex link called a bus. A host on a bus network is called a station. In a bus network, every station will receive all network traffic, and the traffic generated by each station has equal transmission priority. Advantages of bus topology It is very simple to design. Require less cabling compared to other topologies. Each to implement for small networks. It is easy to expand by simply joining two cables together. Very cost effective. Disadvantages of bus topology In the case of any device failure, it is difficult to find faults in a network. If the backbone cable damages, the entire system slash network will fail. It is slower because one computer transmits at a time. It provides very low security because all the computers receive the sent signal from the source. The length of cable is limited. Star Topology In Star Topology, all the computers are connected to the centrally located device called as hub. All the devices on the network are connected with a hub device through a communication link. Each computer requires a single wire for the connection to the hub. Advantages of star topology Easy to manage and maintain the network because each node requires separate cable. Easy to locate problems because cable failure only affect a single user. Easy to extend the network without disturbing to the entire network. Due to hub device network control and management is much easier. Fault identification and removing nodes in a network is easy. It provides very high speed of data transfer. Disadvantages of star topology Expensive Requires additional equipment Entire performance of the network depends on the single device hub. If the hub device goes down, the entire network will be dead. Star topology requires more wires compared to the ring and bus topology. Ring Topology A ring network is a network topology in which each node connects to exactly two other nodes, forming a single continuous pathway for signals through each node, or ring. Data travels from node to node, with each node along the way handling every packet.
advantages of ring topology. High speed. No collision. Easy to reconfigure. Cheap to install and extend. Each computer has equal access to resources. Disadvantages of ring topology. Failure of one computer the whole network will fail. It depends on a single cable. Troubleshooting is difficult. Unidirectional. Mesh topology. A mesh network is a local area network topology in which the infrastructure nodes connect directly, dynamically in mesh topology, all the computers are interconnected to each other in a network. Each computer not only sends its own signals but also relays data from other computers. This type of topology is very expensive as it's very difficult to establish the connections of the mesh topology. Advantages of Mesh Topology Easy to add new devices Scalability is simple Adding new devices does not affect the network Almost impossible to take down Disadvantages of Mesh Topology Difficult to set up initially The risk of redundant connections Costly compared to others complex structure from the days i was born to the day hybrid topology hybrid topology is a combination of more than two topologies in computer networking a network structure that contains more than two topologies is known as hybrid topology it inherits the advantages and disadvantages of included topologies like a phoenix in the night, my soul will rise From the darkness to the light I feel Advantages of hybrid topology Used for a vast network Scalable and very effective Reliable to use Any topology can be combined to make a new network Oh, I will survive Disadvantages of hybrid topology Costly. Difficult to install. Hardware requirements are more. Cable failures. I'm a flyer, a bird, a bird, Hierarchical topology slash tree topology. A tree topology is a hybrid network resulting from the combination of a bus topology and a star topology. The bus resembles the trunk of the tree, while the peripheral nodes resemble leaves, hence the name tree topology. The tree topology can be viewed as a hierarchical arrangement of star networks as it has a parent-child hierarchy to how the nodes are connected. Advantages of hierarchical topology slash tree topology. Network expansion and the addition of new nodes are easy. As each network branch can be individually assessed, troubleshooting is easier. I won't let me down, no. Disadvantages of hierarchical topology slash tree topology. The entire network depends on the central bus, which presents a single point of failure tree topology can be expensive due to the amount of cabling required due to the hierarchical structure it can be difficult to configure 